Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's Women in Astronomy, we are going to talk about Annie Russell Maunder and look at her contributions to astronomy. So let's learn a little bit about her. Well, she was born in 1868 and died in 1947. And she was born in Ireland, but attended Girton College in Cambridge. And she graduated with top honors in mathematics. Now, what kind of scientific work did she do? Well, she was one who worked at the Royal Observatory in Greenwich, England. And in 1891, she was given an assignment to, to study and photograph the sun. So that was one of her jobs. She was going to go ahead and study the sun and did that for several years until she was forced to resign upon her marriage several years later in 1895. However, she continued working with her husband, Walter, and especially on observing eclipses, so studying the sun. And one of the things that she helped find was to create the butterfly diagram for sunspots. And that was done in 1904. What is the butterfly diagram? Well, the butterfly diagram tells us something about the sun. And we look at an example of that here, the butterfly diagram shown in the top here, the bottom shows the number of sunspots as it rises and falls with about an 11 year cycle. The sunspot for the butterfly diagram is that the sunspots that form at the beginning of the cycle are at higher latitudes closer to say 30 degrees north or south, and then progressively get closer and closer to the equator over the course of the cycle. And as you look at that, you might be able to imagine seeing a bunch of butterflies here flying sideways. So if you imagine a flock of butterflies heading off in this direction, you can have a whole bunch of butterflies here how this gets its name. But it tells us something about the sun and how its magnetic fields work and how those form sunspots at different regions. So this was some of the very early beginnings of this. Remember, this was done in 1904. So at that point, we had only done the very beginning of this section. That's as far as she had had data for in the early 1900s. So we were just getting the beginnings of the idea of how the sunspots formed. So she was a pioneer in helping us to better understand some of those cycles of the sun. In 1907, she noted a similarity, or sorry, asymmetries in the sunspots and also found a relation between sunspots and the magnetic storms here on Earth. So she really worked consistently on the sun and studied the sun over the course of her career, both when she was working independently and while she was working with her husband. And then uh, she did die in 1947 at the age of 79. So let's go ahead and finish up with our summary. And what we've looked at here is that Annie Russell Maunder, born in Ireland in 1868, worked on the observations of the sun, including looking at multiple eclipses, and worked with her husband Walter on the development of the butterfly diagram for sunspots, helping to give us the beginnings of the understanding of how the sun worked inside and its magnetic field. So that concludes this discussion of Annie Russell Maunder. We'll be back again next week to talk about another woman in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.